Hi guys, welcome to another video. I have not been in B&M in quite a while because I sort of gave up looking for um, the last big wave of sets because they didn't release in my part of the country, which is absolutely stupid and no, I'm going to get into that, it's really annoying me. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to get any of them on EP or anything, but they probably doubled the price already. Anyway, I thought I'd come in here to look for the um, two new sets. There's a 12th Doctor and an Ace one. And I saw for a look and I found some cool stuff, but they have the Ace one. And so that is just... I was so excited to just see this. I'll get a picture there. And it looks really nice. I am definitely getting this and might do a review on my channel in the next few months. So it looks really nice. Um, they still have loads and loads of these ones. But I just... They, it doesn't seem like they sold too many of them. Because they're, they're the only thing they have in stock at all my B&Ms. Anyway, so if I want to look for any decent modular stuff, I don't think there's anything new here. They've got this horrible looking green arrow that's just really horrifying. Got a few more DC multiverse things. I still like this Green Lantern, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get him though, because um, I'm not too bothered about the animated McFarlane figures, figures. But I'm getting a few of the new ones from like Amazon and other places for Christmas and birthday. Um, birthday's not too far off, so. I used to go into some cool stuff, and one thing I've I never I've not never ever been bothered about these um Star Trek Mego figures, like they really cool, and I do have a, like a general liking of Star Trek and that like, classic Star Trek, but um never been too bored. But this one it looks really nice. It's a Spock one, and it comes with this body and different costumes and different weapons, and just it looks really nice, and it's only twenty pounds, and you know I'm, I don't think I'm, I'm not looking at it now. If I see it again, I might actually think about getting it because it looks pretty nice, actually. Look at that. Anyway, I think that's really it. And while I'm doing a video, I thought I'd just check out the Lego Ninja Argo section because it's a show I've recently got back into. I think I'm on uh, season 10. It's the one of the only trilogy ones, the last one in that series. Um, and I like the. And I, I really like the show. It's you know, they got the childish moments, but. I still think it's really, really well done and really nice. Um, but I have not gone to the new animation style, which um, these sets are from. And I think this one looks really nice. So it does give me hope just seeing the sets and how cool the costumes are. Um, and that there's a Master Wii one. That uh, one actually is it's only £20 or £17.99. And it looks really nice. So, you know, I might I might think about picking that one up once I've gone to the season. Uh, nothing down there. But um, right now I'm not really bothered about any Ninja Ogre stuff because I really I've got into Hunted. That's one of my favorite seasons now. Um, that's the first time I ever watched it recently. It looks really nice. Anyway, this is one of the new Ninjago Legacy sets. I have I have not been into these Legacy sets except the builds. The builds are absolutely amazing and great. Um, almost recreations, but better versions of the original builds. I'm not a fan of the figures though because they don't really match the seasons properly. Um, and and even though the villains are cool, they're having a bit of those lines. They're not the whole point of having um the whole point of having sets of like these Lego shows is because it they're meant to be like you can play the set with the sets after you've watched the show with the same characters and stuff and then with the new designs it just doesn't make any sense and I have the belief that the characters have sort of grown up with age into their new um designs instead of being just redesigned from the movie. So this sort of contradicts what I think, but still looks really nice and I'm definitely going to get that Doctor Who set and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so I thought I'd come to Watford. This is about a day after my last sort of filming bit. I was just added onto the old video account uploading it and I found the 12th, and Davros, 12th Doctor and Davros set and it looks really nice. They also have that one as well and some of the old ones and as usual, it's usually just the Claws of Axel set and this one's that's left. So, I mean, it's really cool, I found it, I'm definitely going to get it, and I'll probably get it for birthday or Christmas, so I can't do a review right away, but it's still really cool. Like, that's, that'll probably be it for the video, there's some Star Trek stuff down here, if you're interested in that. Um, but that's really it, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye.